Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over applier learning question number one from the stoichiometry and limiting reactants unit. Question number one asks, how many grams of O2 would you need to react with five grams of Al or aluminum? So this question is referring to the chemical equation listed here. And we're given the starting amount of aluminum, and we want to get from grams of aluminum to grams of oxygen gas. And so remember that when we're converting from one element to another element or compound in the chemical equation, we want to always go to moles first because the equation is in terms of moles. So four moles of aluminum plus three moles of oxygen gas will react to form two moles of aluminum two oxide. And so we always want to go from grams to moles first so that we can use the ratios in the chemical equation to convert from one compound to another. So we've started with five grams of aluminum, so let's turn that into moles of aluminum first. We can do that by dividing by the molar mass. And I've gone ahead and listed out the molar masses of aluminum and oxygen so that we can use them. These were found straight from the periodic table, I just listed them here. And so the molar mass of aluminum is 26.98 grams per mole. So if we start with 5 grams of aluminum and we divide by the molar mass of aluminum, we can find how many moles of aluminum there are. Then, if we want to find moles of oxygen from moles of aluminum, we can look at the chemical equation and form a ratio with the coefficients. So we see that 3 moles of O2 corresponds with 4 moles of ale, of aluminum. Now that we have moles of O2, we want to convert that to grams of O2 since that's what they want in the question. So we'll have to multiply by the molar mass of O2. Now be careful here because the molar mass listed on the periodic table is for one oxygen, not two oxygens. This is diatomic oxygen. Which means there are two oxygens in the compound. So what we'll need to do is take the 16 and multiply it by 2 to get 32 grams per mole. And that's what we'll use. So we we have 3 moles of O2, and then we want to convert that to grams of O2. So we'll multiply by this molar mass. And when we plug this all into our calculators, we will find that we would need 4.45 grams of O2 to react with 5 grams of aluminum.